I want to give you a, a few thought provokers to uh, enable you to debate through the day as to the way you see the future going and some perspectives of mine as to maybe uh, where we are in, in terms of, of talent management and development. What's happening underneath the surface is a risk and if you're not getting talent right it is a commercial and operational risk. Many organisations seem to think that, that actually this is just a thing we should do for moral reasons. Wrong. It's a thing you should do for performance reasons. It's a thing you should do for risk reasons. What I find amazing is that actually we have known for over 30 years what are the things that we have to do in our organisations to get people to perform well doing it. We were just working with a blank sheet of paper and saying how can we really make talent add value to the business. Not how can we put in uh, an HR talent strategy. How can we drive business performance using talent and leadership. Ballpark figures. We could say that potentially 65% of the people in our organisations are coming to work and doing the job. We won't even talk about the 15% who negatively impact upon everybody else. We know that a good line manager can increase the likelihood of someone staying in an organisation by up to 87% might be an interesting idea to utilize those people on the ground to keep your talent. And you're in a beautiful virtuous circle that is beginning to give you competitive advantage day after day. And I think that shows how talent is absolutely intertwined with delivering service to customers, with innovation, with leadership, and how you make the organization work as a most efficient machine to deliver what your customers need. We have to have it because everyone else has it. I would suggest that that presents a risk to your organisation. I would suggest that if you can get your senior management to think of your organisation as a value delivery chain, then you get high performance. That actually, if you think about having leadership excellent leadership to underpin everything you do and to engage your people, then actually you don't need to think about the boxes because you're focusing on talent, you're focusing on innovation, you're focusing on key deliverables, you're focusing on cost efficiency through having great leaders that focus on those things with their teams every day. The interesting thing is that we often don't look at how we can make our organisations perform better from the perspective of the receiver the person who we are subjecting to all of these initiatives and we're cascading from the top, the talent, what the chief executive says, etc. And a lot of people say, as long as you've got that, it's done, it's finished. Talent system, away we go, no problem. But they forget that an organisation is, is a holistic community where all of these things are impacted upon by other factors. Sorry, I come from a, my dim and distant past. I spent five years in the British Army as an army officer. The services are absolutely clear about who has responsibility for doing what and who is accountable in everything they do. Nothing falls between the stools because the consequences of something falling between the stools and going wrong is unfortunate to say the least, so it isn't allowed to happen. And I think the same principle of complete clarity and responsibility for the development of talent should apply in commercial organisations. And everybody needs a personal benefit as well as an organisational benefit. Really, the fact that the share value will go up is not going to entice first line managers to get involved. They won't have many share options like the Chief Executive does. So I think some of the, the secrets to making this work that we discovered actually go back to the very basics of how organisations work as communities. Your line managers are having open and honest conversations with their people so that they are able to motivate people, to assess talent, to identify talent, and to make sure that your marvellous talent machine, the strategy, is actually getting decent data rather than garbage data based on the fact no one's talking to each other and line managers aren't having decent conversations. That actually it's about line managers and senior management being given a clear responsibility this is your job. It's not just 
HR's job. Talent isn't there for talent's sake. Talent is there to create people who deliver organisational objectives and the most important objectives you need to deliver this year should be embedded in their heads.